The following is an exclusive presentation of the NCCU Sports Network. I saw good flashes on offense. I saw some excellent flashes on defense. You guys did a hell of a job of causing turnovers and playing with energy. That's what we talk about. Now we got to go back and evaluate the film and make sure we're playing smart football. There were a couple of things all right, that could have went either way. Overall, not a bad day. We flew around. We had good energy on both sides of the football. Now we got to go back to the drawing board and make sure the final point, as far as alignment and assignment, we clean all that stuff up. We talked about trying to be explosive, and we try talked about not beating ourselves. We don't want penalties. We had too many defensive penalties, and we had some offensive penalties. We got to play smart football. You guys understand? Yes, sir. All right. One's up, one's up. Hey, good job, fellas. Camp almost over. One more day. Hey, family on three, family on three. One, two, three. Bam. Jonathan Duren here with the NCCU Sports Network, joined alongside head coach Jerry Mack here at the end of the scrimmage here at, at the end of fall camp. Talk about what you saw from the offense and defense and who really excelled today. I thought on both sides of the ball we flew around with a ton of energy. Uh, offensively, the guys who really impressed me today was our, obviously our quarterback, Malcolm Bell, did some good things, and our young freshman, uh, Jalen Wilkes, uh, came up with two explosive plays. Uh, defensively, our linebacker core is really doing extremely well right now, and also our special teams, uh, our special teams and secondary play did a good job today. So let's start on the offensive side. You had the high pace spread offense that was going today. You talked about Malcolm Bell playing well today. What specifically did you see from him as, as far as decision making and you know, calling plays, checking plays from the lines. What really stood out to you for him? I think both of those, Jonathan. Uh, two, two times uh, he was able to uh, create some plays with his legs, and that's Malcolm's one of his strengths is being able to extend plays and, and continue to move the chains. Uh, and then also, too, we got a situation down there uh, on the goal line where they checked the play, that, even though it was called a certain way. Uh, that just goes back to last year. We had a situation last year, and they carried over to this year, something we didn't really even have to talk about very much. So they did an extremely good job on making sure they managed the game. And Malcolm, you know, he's, he's growing every day. We're going to work our way around the offense here. Talk about the wide receivers and the tight ends, how they get it done. Uh, wide receivers, you saw Jalen Wilkes, a young freshman, came in and he had some explosive plays for us down the field. Also, our tight end play was, was really good today. Our young freshman, Glenn Calvin, was, came up with a touchdown in the red zone. So what you see is, you know, because of our PSP program, we were able to get the student athletes down here uh, in the second session of summer school. It just helps their growth. So they're a lot further along than we would have anticipated at this time. With the running backs in the offensive line, as far as not just shotguns, all the little pistol sets missed in as well. Uh, how are the running backs able to adjust to that this year? Doing good. Uh, you know, we're moving it back more to try to keep defenses off balance, and I think it's going to help us down the road as we start to get more into the season and we start to have more tendencies. So we're doing a good job of moving those guys around. Uh, running back play, Adrice Augustus has some good runs, and also Darrell McClain did some excellent things for us. Offensive line play, we're still trying to figure out that chemistry uh, in the trenches as far as, you know, what that starting five kind of looks like. Uh, we got some good battles going on up front, and this week should settle down a little bit, and we start to hone in on game planning for St. Hall. Defensively, uh, talk about how they did as a whole, uh, played during in the open field as well as you did some red zone sets as well. And uh, How did that turn out? Uh, I thought defensively, the energy was just, just on another level today. Uh, you know, our secondary play uh, with Mike Jones and Ryan Smith and C.J. Moore came up with some calls, turnovers. Uh, Reggie Harner came up with an interception. Uh, our defensive line, I saw Antonio Brown get a sack. Uh, and also Josh Wade and Jaquan Smith, they really did a good job of pushing, uh, getting penetration up the field. So I thought from a defense standpoint, hey, first our first 11 out there, they played extremely well. Uh, that's what we talked about. You know, for the last week or so, we've been talking about offensively, uh, defensively, I'm sorry, uh, creating turnovers, and that's what you saw today. They were, were more detailed, they were toned in, uh, and, they, and they made turnovers. You mentioned Mike Jones and Ryan Smith, some of the veteran captains in the uh, backfield defensively. How are they able to direct the defense from your point of view today? Uh, I thought it was good. I mean, when you look at C.J., Mike, and Ryan, they all return the starters. So as far as what Coach Eastman won and what Coach McCoy wants back there, they're a lot more uh, – they're a lot more – further alone than they were last year. And uh, that's what you can see. We can do a lot more things, a variation of things. Uh, we were able to bring different types of blisses, some exotic blisses out there uh, just because we have that experience in the back end. 
So you go to the defensive backs and secondary, uh, you know, this high pace spread offense and what other better tests did you give them as they go up against their first unit on the offensive side, how they excel today? Uh, defense, they play well. Uh, Mike Jones and Ryan Smith, they do an excellent job of making sure they batted balls down and making sure they were right in uh, receiver's hip pocket. And that's what we want. That's what we. That's what our expectation level. Uh, they, and they should be like that. And they should be exactly where we expect them to be, playing at a high level right now, going uh, as we prep to go into the first home opener. This has been an exclusive presentation of the NCCU Sports Network.